The story behind the Yoruba Hadith Shebo Timo Elewa Shapo. Once upon a time, there was a woman who sold cooked beans in Abeokuta, in Ogun State, southwest part of Nigeria. A bean joint at the time connected the roads that lead to Ijai, Agoba, Itoku, Lafenwa, Isalegbe. Ake Road. The location of our restaurants was that Sapo, which was derived from the word Sapolore. In English, this means F the bachelors. Apo means bachelor. Shapolore means F the bachelor. And it was shortened to Sapo instead of Shapolore. Well, the people, especially the bachelors, derive pleasure from eating at the restaurant because they perceive it as a place to wine and dine in those days. In addition, important personalities like kings, government officials, civil servants and even students used to buy beans and steal a wakpakure from her. Her name is Madam Janet Iwusi Odeshola who was born in 1925. Young Janet attended the Methodist Elementary School in Ijoko, Abehuta. She began a food selling business by selling dry fish before she felt the need to own her own restaurant that sold cooked beans in 1951. So because of the caliber of people that patronize her, her cooked beans sold very fast every day despite the large quantity of beans she cooked. Although history has it that she cooked a big bag of beans daily and there wouldn't be any leftovers. However, it came to a point where people started hoeing her. Some would buy her beans and pay while some would buy on credit. Also, there were some people whose money would not be enough and would promise to pay later, which they never did. She started drowning in debt as the credit accumulated. So she began to think of a solution and then came up with a plan. What's the plan? Well, the plan was that anyone who bought from her, if their money is not completed or suffered, she would advise the person with a phrase, she built them up. That is, cut your coat according to your cloth. For instance, if they come to buy beans, she will ask for money. If it's 10 cobble, she will sell 10 cobble worth of beans. If such person then asks to put more, that is more than 10 cobble, that he or she will pay later. He will respond with this, she built him. Cut your clothes according to your size. And with time, people get used to a response she built him, and as a result of this, anytime they ask her to add more beans, they quickly remember and respond with she built more. Elewa Chapon. Since the revolution of her restaurant's policy, her customers nicknamed her Shebiotimo Elewa Chapon. Also, she stopped cooking more than a pot of beans. So when they ask for more, she will respond with Motiche Bimoshemo, that is, I have caught my cloth according to my size. That's how the nickname Shebiotimo became a proverb that is imbibed in Yoruba culture which taught the morals of you not buying things that you cannot afford.